Hello guys, welcome to a tutorial I guess. Um, so, as discussed in the first official episode of Condacraft Season 2, I will be doing a tutorial on my spider cave farm thing in Majig, my Bobby. For some reason I hit the wrong button and I decided to stop the recording instantly and I had to start it instantly. It, nothing's changed. All I've gone and done is I've gone and pre-built a little say set up here of the main room so you got your cave spider spawn you find it in the world hooray blah blah you do your normal thing you dig a box around it for them to spawn in so the first thing you're going to want to do I'm just going to cover that up to do this farm it's not going to be a typical one where you drain them all to the front then drain them all to the side like that Cave spiders I've found are very difficult to get to corners or even just in the centre here. They're just they're, they're buggers. So the first thing I thought to do was well, I've done this awkwardly anyway. Let me just get some water. I need to actually figure out where all this goes. So that goes out to the edge there. So I want to build up here. I want to build up this twice. In fact, no, I don't. I want to build it up once, and we have to build down the other side once. So ignore everything I'm saying. But I've dug down a few blocks, so there's a bit of a block coverage. You can dig down even further if you wish. If you've seen my actual spawner, my um, in my in the Condorcraft server, it's actually a lot bigger. But you see what he does here one source box spreads all that way and it all goes to the corners now I've still got to do preventation from spiders going up to the top but I'm too lazy to do such thing I'm just going to break away all of this because once all that's broken I've just got to place some blocks down here and then I can go ahead and do this. So this is basically what you have to do, but imagine digging it out rather than placing the blocks. Can I, can I get up, please? So once you've got that in now, all of this should just flow down. Nice and simple, to that one corner. Now I'm going to show you some magic. I'm just going to break this corner, get out. See this corner pillar right here? Don't have it. Don't have none of that. What you're gonna want is some salt. You want to build this up on the on the back edge, so away from the spawner. You want however high you're gonna go, wherever you're gonna take these spiders. You want to place that like that. Now soul sand. This is the wall. This is the um. I'm no good at tutorials. This is the uh, mob of Ata. For spiders and any mobs we all know the trick of soul sand in 1.13 that it creates water columns you can do it up trouble is you've got no way of getting the, connecting the water there to there so if you do it on a flat surface you've got no way of connecting the water up this is the way I'm showing you <laughs> wow I, mean, I need I need some better talking um, we need some glass planes I found are the best for spiders because it gives them more room to actually get in there. So first thing you're going to want to do. Break that block. Break that block. Break all of them. Those two corner blocks. All the way up. And when I say all the way. I don't mean like just part way. I mean all the way. And we're just going to place them up like so. This is enough room. For the spiders to fit through. So spider, the cave spiders can fit in here. Mobs, uh, normal mobs can fit in here. Normal spiders cannot. But that also stops that water from hitting there. And you can place all these as water sources. Now what I found with cave spiders, just do that. And they will, that gives them enough room to get pushed in. And not come back out. I mean you might need to possibly let that up one more. We'll see. It, all, it really does all depend. But at the top, before I place any of the water, say this is going to be your uh, killing section right here. What you're going to want to do, choose the side you're going to kill on. You can go on this side, 
or you can go on this side. In my world, uh, in the Condacar server, I am on this side. What time is? So yes, the thing you're gonna want to do with this one is it's a drowning trap as well as XP. So if you leave them too long, they will drown. The only trouble is with these blocks. If I place a water source, oh, did not mean to do that. I'm gonna make this easy on me and get a bucket. If I place a water source there, you got air gaps. Now the spiders can now breathe in this air gap. So, and before before I actually do anything, let me get a normal block. Let me replace that soul stand down there. Oh, I don't know if you just noticed though, guys. See, this water now goes up and pushes you into that. If I had that broken like that, you see, I will slowly get, well, I won't slowly get pushed. But mobs will. Well, okay, spiders, any any kind of mob will, and we'll prove that in a second, but you've got to do the pre-build before you even attempt to let those guys loose. I'm just going to keep setting day here, just so it keeps on as a daytime. Now, you're going to need a set of stairs. So, I'm going to choose any, and I can't spell. I'm going to choose, um, ooh. no, I'm going to choose wood. Wood is good. Now what you're gonna want to do, say this is a cave. Uh, all this is cave now. Like this is all solid block that you've got going on here. Yada yada yada. All that would normally be solid block. What you're gonna want to do is place a stair there. All this is still gonna be solid block here. You're gonna place a stair on that one and. Oh, can I please get up? I stay on that one. So that creates that corner piece. Now, if you pay close attention, let me just. Wrong block. Forgot about water log. If you look here, the spider's going to be coming in this bit. We cannot go further out of that way. And the issue I had when I first made this is I was placing full blocks in there. Now, the spiders can get stuck here and then they're not going to go up to where you want them and suffocate. And the reason for the stairs, like, yeah, they could go like that, but then there's a reason they can escape as well, because you can't do the whole half block trick to get them stuck. With this case, they're going to float up, and then they're going to be in a one half block height. So let's get some fancy, fancy slab action, and I'm going I'm to go with a nice brick slab. And the slab you want to place is on that one there. This will all come apparent in a moment. See, they can escape from this. I will rectify this. In, in fact, I will rectify it now. Your floor is going to be level here. This is going to be your floor. I should really be building at a different block, but I kind of want to see what's going on. So this is going to be your floor. Yes, they can escape right here. This is all going to be covered up like so so that's how it's going to look like if I place all this here imagine all that brick and everything that's how it's going to be that's pure simple you need a cobblestone wall hopefully this tutorial is all well and good pretty quick one place a cobblestone wall there now here's where the uh, water comes into play what you're going to do is you first got to water log those three stairs or you can do it in a minute whichever pleases you but you've also got to water log this one before you water log that we're going to be placing water down there and this is to get make it easier for you let me get some kelp uh, we've got a wall yeah get some kelp now everyone should know this trick by now placing kelp in creates water source blocks now all that's water source what you're going to do is place that like that and watch this see that goes up that's how the spiders are going to go up and we'll place that back in there 
Now, water source must be in this one here. And that is so you can water source this, water log this, and it flows out. I'll show you in a second. First thing you're going to want to do, that one now. Oh. Right. You're going to actually need two of these. I forgot in my setup, I actually have two of these. Because this is an actual efficient way. So, that's why them stairs are there. Ignore what I'm saying. You have one placed in there. And that will create a water source in that corner. Don't worry. It doesn't matter if that's any water logs or anything like that. Because it can't go nowhere. Can you see? You're going to place one now. One in this corner. And one in that corner. And that creates a water source in this one here as well. Or you could just place one in that corner, one in that corner, and it's, but you know, and that's, that's pretty much it. Oh God. That's an issue. So get, get out of there. There we go. So the thing I've gotten set up is hoppers. This is pretty much over already guys. Just got to set up the little killing chamber. So say you want a chest. Not trap chest. We don't need those anymore. They're pretty useless. Say a chest here. Will do you, wouldn't it? That'd be pretty good. I don't know why that plays like that. There we go. You're going to want hoppers obviously facing into the chest. Like so. Now you can come along, you can block off all of that like that. That could be all just wall there. Who knows Who knows what that is for you guys. The thing you're going to want to do here is get some trap doors next. I keep saying the thing you're going to want to do. It, Jesus Christ. The trap doors will want to be placed on that edge there. Like so. And like so. It's a bit more tricky in survival. And then you're going to want to put them up. Never touch them ever again leave them as they are because if you go further than this then the cave spiders can hit you if you are if you hear that one pixel on this block that cave spider can hit you trust me i've done it but that there is it that is the setup now all these will be blocked in like so just in case spiders can accidentally be glitched through and pushed out you never know that could happen it is minecraft but yeah that's the setup now if i go time set night just set it to night i can't spell we should see some spiders spawning in and we should see what happens here see it goes straight in up he goes right there just as simple as that they should be out of range to cause any harm to that if you see what happens here if he's in there too long he will suffocate and die let's see if that is the case yeah let's see he's suffocating dying ah another issue I have found guys you're gonna wanna instead of two cobblestone walls this is what I actually just figured out in my actual base you want one of them as a fence one of them as a wall no um, iron bars I think the spider can escape it's got to be a fence and a wall and just replace any one of these two with other one and that's to stop them connecting so items can pass through and XP can pass through I've only just figured that out so if I set time to night again you should or we should Uh, that's because the server should be set to, our server sets hard normal whichever we set to hard that'll make it spawn a lot more and if I just get a sword and enchant it with slash oh do not want know what that is Do 
Do not know what that is. Okay, ignore that. Don't know why they're asking for that. Let's go at A with... We'll, we'll do Bane 100. Five then. Bane of Wolf plus five. And we should get... There you go. We get the XP. And we should be able to go in survival here. And spawn all of these in. I hope no creepers. Good thing I spent... Are you spawning in? Come on. And I will show you that they cannot hit you while here. If you're standing here, see, they cannot hit you. If I go that one pixel further, they can hit you. So it's very important. It's as close as you can get, no closer. This block here. But as you can see, it's pretty good. XP comes in. Items go in now. And I'll keep getting poisoned. Ah, new commands. But yeah, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this episode. That is pretty much it on how you do this. This little tutorial right here on how to build oh, this little thing right here. It's very, very simple. You've got your basic structure. And the only difference is, is that bit right there. That bit right there is pretty much the only different bit of mo most cave spider spawners and I'm hoping this people will take on board on this. The person that inspired me to do this was iJevin, uh, sorry iJevin, um, I Impulse SV, sorry, because I watched his, did he, uh, didn't watch all his stream, I went back and watched some of his stream as I do with most YouTubers I watch and I saw how he did it and then I watched his video the next day the one after his stream and it was pretty like the way he did it with the waterlogged block and all that it was good I actually enjoyed it um, I couldn't figure out a way to do it the way he did it so that was with the blocks coming out the front so everything coming everything coming from the f like spawning at the front and going through here the spiders will just hang about in a little tiny air gap that you had no control of this was the only way that I could get them to continuously move and go into there. But it works, it's efficient, and it's probably the most efficient way to farm them. It's auto kills. You can sit there you can sit there and let them take damage and then hit hit them. You can gauge how much damage they take and then hit them, blah blah blah. Do all that good stuff and or you just get a good sword and kill them. Or splash potions and kill them probably. It all works. Just don't stand too close when you do the splash potions. It will kill you. Anyway guys, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next video.